There was this man who was born blind who had an operation at the age of 50 in which he gained his eyesight and he could see for the first time. In an interview afterwards he said, I can't wait to get up in the morning to see what I can see. It's the most amazing thing in the world. Now, the man in today's gospel must have felt a bit like that, but there is a deeper meaning to today's gospel which involves all of us. Everyone is born in a state of original blindness, better known as original sin. Baptism opens our eyes. The blind man was asked to wash in the pool of Siloam, which is a symbol of the baptismal font. Baptism is a sacrament of enlightenment by, by means of which we receive the gift of faith. But we know that this light of faith, if not guarded and nourished, could easily grow dim and even go out altogether. At the baptismal ceremony, parents are asked to help their children walk always as children of the light. Now, if the parent's faith is weak or merely cultural or not connected to life, then it will be like the blind leading the blind. Jesus gives light to the blind whilst at the same time exposing in com contrast those blind to the light. The leading Pharisees turned their backs on Jesus, the light of the world. Judas did the same. When he left the upper room, if you remember, at the Last Supper, Scripture tells us night had fallen. In our world there are unbelievers who'd rather we hide the light of our Catholic faith and not go public with it. It could be put down to such a simple thing as wearing a cross round our necks while we're working. They don't mind what we believe privately, so long as we keep it to ourselves. The Pharisees asked the blind man, What have you to say about Jesus yourself? The same is asked of us. Can he rely on us to bring light to a darkened world? As his friends, have we ever helped to open someone's eyes to the beautiful things of God. The blind man comes away with two healings. His bodily eyes are opened, but more importantly, he receives spiritual enlightenment when he openly declares his belief in Jesus and worships him as Lord to the ire of the Pharisees who ridicule him with insults. During Lent, we take a look at what might be blinding us to the light. Perhaps we prefer to remain hazy about what we believe, because then we feel less obligated to live by it. But Jesus says, the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light. Catholicism is a religion of revealed truth. We are not left floundering around in a twilight world of our own making, wondering what to believe. Jesus doesn't lead us up a blind alleyway to confuse us. Some, however, feel more at home with a God who keeps us in the dark. But God doesn't deal with us in an arbitrary fashion. Jesus said, I have come into the world so that those without sight may see. It's as simple as that. Salvation involves clearly distinguishing truth from falsehood and light from darkness. So then, as the days get longer and we move further into Lent towards the full light of Easter, we ask the Lord to increase our faith and dispel any darkness from our minds and hearts. Oh.